Hey guys, magandang umaga or magandang gabi, depending on what time you're watching this video. My name is Monica and welcome to my channel. <laughs> so I don't know if you can tell, but I have done my hair again. Um, it does look a little bit more... It, it looks brighter, definitely, than my previous video and also in my studio lights, it's starting to look a little bit more bright, but I'm not very satisfied with it. I literally bleached my hair yesterday. My mom helped me with it, she was amazing. But it just didn't turn out the way that I wanted it to. Like last time I bleached my hair, it turned out like white. And then I was able to dye blonde on top of it. It hasn't really worked out this time. I think it's because of the bleach that I used. The Total Bleach, the one that I'm gonna be using today is Total Bleach by Bleach London. I feel like this one is a lot better because the previous one that I used was the Plex Bleach and it's supposed to be better for your hair, like healthier for your hair, but um, I feel like it didn't really do the job properly. So I'm gonna do it again, even though I did just bleach my hair yesterday, I don't care. Please don't do this, it's really bad for your hair, but I'm just so impatient. And I was so excited for my hair to be like blonde blonde finally and it hasn't turned out that way but we're just, we're just gonna do it anyway. We're gonna do it again. So, this is my cap. Yeah, sorry, I'm just getting into this video straight away. I just, I just, I just wanna just zoom through this. Not much of an intro, I'm just getting straight into it today. <laughs> so this is the cap that I'm using. I think my first error was making the holes too big. So what I thought you had to do was it didn't come with the holes already in it you had to like make the holes yourself but it had like an outline of where the holes would go and i thought that you had to make it the size of the actual hole so i actually got my scissors it took me like seven hours i swear so i did it one night and then i couldn't finish it because it was taking so long and then i had to do it the next day Anyway, so we finally got the holes and I think they were too big. Too much hair was coming out. I barely had like any hair that wasn't bleached. I don't know if you can tell like the highlights, but I'm pretty sure that's just me re-bleaching the highlights already I already had. Does that make sense? So like it's not really new highlights, it's just residue from the previous highlighting. So hopefully this time it's gonna work out better. Um, I have washed it obviously. It came with this hook thingy. You can see like the tiny little hook on the end. That's where you're supposed to poke through the holes and then your hair comes out with it. So the only instructions that like other tutorials have really said was just part your hair how you normally would part it and then just put the cap on. So that's, that's what we did and that's what we're gonna do again today. I think my battery is gonna go um, sooner than this video is over, but um, I doubt you'll want to see the whole process anyway. So I'll probably just show you like the first bit that I'm doing and then just show you guys how it turned out. What I would say about this cap is it's not as snug as it really should be. The tutorials that I've seen, the cap was like really snug on their head and I feel like that's why it didn't get the roots, my, my roots when I did it yesterday. Also what you're supposed to do is put talcum powder on the inside which is what I didn't do uh, like baby powder. I didn't do that yesterday. So it was like sticking a lot more like when I was trying to pull the hair through it was sticking to the cap a lot more because we didn't dry it up with some with some baby powder first. But we did that today. So it should go better. What I will also say is that start from the top and then work your way backwards. Also if you've got a middle parting try and work maybe from maybe work from like the middle going down and then you know how like the crown of your head then you start going back like that. Just because if you start from the bottom it will pull out quite a lot of hair because obviously all your hair is falling back like that. So start from the top and then when you get around to the bottom it should all be like the same amount of hair that you're pulling through, if that makes sense. It's easier really when you're doing the first bit yourself because you know like the shape of your scalp. Obviously there are holes here but I'm not gonna be pulling anything through. Try and make sure you're pulling it right down to where the root of that particular hair is. If you pull out certain bits where say like you're pulling it out from this hole but the root is actually up here um, obviously that's not going to turn out very well and I think you do that better when you're doing it yourself because how is the other person going to know like where they're pulling from because they can't feel it Okay, so what can happen is, I don't know if you can see, but like there's quite a few like random bits coming out. So I'll just like comb it through. It's easier obviously if you like comb it through as you're going along because if you leave it too late. I remember yesterday, oh I just left it so late and I had so much hair to, to straighten out and it was just quite, it was getting quite painful. <laughs> 
I remember from this. I don't know if you could tell from the earlier in the video. My skin is like really sensitive. I don't know if you like, if I've mentioned this before, probably have. My skin is so sensitive that even doing this has made my forehead break out because you can see like it's like stuck, <laughs> stuck to my forehead here. I feel like already this is going better than yesterday. Cause basically, because I cut the holes so big, my mom had like no choice but to pull through however much came through the holes. But I don't think I explained it to her properly that I've, it's not supposed to be as big as the holes that I made it. So more of it, it was basi I basically bleached the whole head, which was just like not ideal. Um, Cause that was kind of, it defeats the whole purpose of using this technique. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta be careful by like, if you're pulling out certain bits and then obviously you go in for a little bit more and loads comes out, the more that you try and like fix like the knot that's been formed, the more hair you'll be pulling out and you don't want too much hair to come out. So when that starts to happen, um, use, your, use your comb to just comb it through instead of using the hook because the hook will just start pulling out so much hair which is also i think what happened yesterday it's fine we're learning from our mistakes it took about two hours <laughs> to do this yesterday that's also another reason why i think it went wrong yesterday i mixed the bleach powder and like the developing lotion before we did this which was really stupid of me i didn't realize this would take so long by the time that we had finished doing this the bleach had gone really weird like i don't know what happened we'd left it out obviously for like two hours it had gone like foamy it had foamed up and like doubled in size but it was like the only bleach that i bought so we didn't have much of a choice like we had to just use it because it took us so long to do this Stupid cat. There's no way I was like what gonna sleep in this or like we were gonna like take it out and do it again another day Uh-uh, honey Uh-uh, I was so excited to get it done. There was no way we were just gonna leave it <laughs> Not gonna happen. Thank you Two hours later Okay, so that took a long time, but it's fine. Oh, I've got this thing on um, to just protect my clothes. So at the moment, I'm just mixing up the bleaching uh, mix. So like I said, I use Bleach London, the Total Bleach. So they give you two of these like powders. I do recommend when you're putting it into your bowl to stand back because the powder does bounce back like into your face and I was like coughing a lot when I was pouring it into the bowl and then you have to mix it with this developing lotion so you're supposed to use like a special I don't know like a bleach proof bowl what I use is these you know those bowls I don't know what like the what it's made out of but you can put them in the oven um, it's not like an oven bowl because we use it for like our salads as well but thing is this is my mom's bowl so I don't want to risk anything um, so I've put foil on it. So this is what it looks like. It's all mixed in now. I put, put foil around it just in case it does something. I really doubt it would, um, but you can buy like plastic bowls or whatever in like a drugstore anywhere. I'm actually using a paintbrush. I don't see why you need to use a special brush or whatever to do this. It's like you need a tinting brush, but those are expensive and like I... I don't see the point in doing it. So my battery is literally gonna die. So what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna partition my hair and then put um, put the bleach in. So I won't be able to show you this, unfortunately. I'll keep it in for about 45 minutes, um, no longer than 45 minutes. And then I'll come back to you guys when I've washed my hair and everything. And then I'll show you the outcome of the bleach. <laughs> Later that same evening. So this is how it has turned out. It is very bleached, very blonde. I think you can definitely see the highlights, at least near the top where the roots are. I made like an error. I know when I was putting on the cap, I put it on too forward. So there was loads of holes here, which I couldn't use because obviously my forehead and not enough holes at the back. So I do have like a, a layer, like a chunk of hair at the bottom that's like 
not been touched by the bleach but I'm not too fussed about it because that's already the bottom of my hair like the the lower section is always quite dead anyway so I'm not too bothered about it I am gonna be dyeing my hair blonde on top of this because I mean it is light now but it's not the color that I'm going for yet so I'm gonna do that in a few days I will just show you a few like mistakes that I made Okay, so mainly the mistakes are at the top here. If I pull the hairs back, I think you can see it here, right here. It's like a blotch and you can see it a little bit there too. And I've got a section here. Okay, this one is way more obvious. So it's like a, it's just a circle, just a circle of bleach and another one there. So, and here, you know what? It just happened quite a lot around the perimeter of my head. And that's because I wasn't able to get those bits pulled through the holes, but I did paint the bleach over those holes. I did it accidentally and I really could have um, just gone under with like a towel and wiped it off, but I just didn't think that it was gonna be that big of a deal, honestly, but it is quite obvious. Yeah, you can see it quite a lot near the top. I'm hoping that when I do dye it again on top of it, it will kind of like blend in some of the mistakes that I made because that's kind of how I did it previously when my friend and I bleached my hair back in November. Okay, so I have now dyed my hair blonde. I don't even know if you can see a difference. I think I can. I feel like it looks less ginger and more like actually blonde. This is what I used. I use either L'Oreal or Garnier to do this. So this is what it said that it's supposed to turn out like. I think I was more on like this color when I bleached my hair, so I should really be on this, but it's not looking as shiny and good, but I guess that's just... They try and make it look better than it actually is. It also came with this uh, conditioner and it is really good. Some of, some of the um, hair dyeing kits don't have that and I'm really happy that this had this because I can actually feel it getting um, less dead <laughs> when I use it uh, in the shower. This is how it's looking. I'm now just gonna go over just a few tips, things that like I wish I had done when I was doing this. The first one is um, definitely make sure you try and cut your hair at some point along the bleaching process. So if you haven't got kind of damaged hair beforehand, you can wait until after you've bleached it to try and trim the ends. But if you have already a little bit damaged hair, I definitely recommend you giving it a little trim beforehand because bleaching it, if you think about it, like your split ends, like instead of like creating new ones because you've already got split ends, it will just make them go bigger. So even if you trim it, you're still gonna have some split ends. So if you trim it before the split ends get bigger, then you'll have less of that problem. Yeah, so you shouldn't really do what I did. <laughs> um, I bleached it and then I bleached it the next day and then I waited a day or two and then I dyed it. Like you really should wait at least like a few weeks between like bleaching and dyeing but I just got really impatient because I was really not feeling how it was looking straight after the bleach and I have like somewhere to go today so that's why I did this today <laughs> but I try and justify it because when you're in a salon and they're doing your hair like from extremely dark to try and make it really light um, they do have to bleach it like twice at least to get you there and then they dye it all in one go So really it's not that bad. It's just they don't recommend it when you're doing it at home because I guess it's more dangerous when you're doing it at home I don't know like the chemicals. I don't know. I'm trying to justify it, but I don't know. <laughs> so I think that is it. That's all the tips that I have got at the moment. I've made a few tips at the beginning of the video and throughout as well. But yeah, I think that's it for today's video guys. Thank you for watching if you stayed until this point and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys. <laughs>